This lesson will show how to use Pascal's triangle to evaluate combinations. To begin, one way to form Pascal's triangle is to arrange the binomial coefficients and choose k into a triangle as shown here on the left. Notice 0 choose 0, 1 choose 0, and 1 choose 1 are all 1, giving us this small triangle of 1's at the top. For the next row, we have 2 choose 0, 2 choose 1, 2 choose 2, which gives the row 1, 2, 1. Next, we have 3 choose 0, 3 choose 1, 3 choose 2, and 3 choose 3, which gives a row 1, 3, 3, 1. Next, we have the row 4 choose 0, 4 choose 1, 4 choose 2, 4 choose 3, and 4 choose 4, which is a row 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. And the pattern continues indefinitely. Another way to form Pascal's triangle is to start with a triangle of 1's, which we have here at the top, and then every subsequent row has one additional entry begins with one, ends with one, and the missing entries are formed by adding the two entries above. Notice for the row one, two, one, the first entry is one, the last entry is one, and one plus one is equal to two. The next row begins with one, ends with one, and one plus two is three, and two plus one is three. The next row begins with one, ends with one, and one plus three is four, three plus three is six, and three plus one is four. And now let's evaluate several combinations using Pascal's triangle. Here's a much larger Pascal's triangle. To evaluate n choose k, we need to locate the entry in row n column k, but we do start counting the rows and columns at zero. So for example, to evaluate seven choose two, we need to locate the entry in row seven column two. Counting down the rows starting at zero, we have row zero, row one, row two, row three, row four, row five, row six, row seven, and then we have column zero, column one, column two. We're working our way across row seven, we have seven choose zero, seven choose one, seven choose two. Seven choose two is equal to 21. Next we have nine choose three. We need to find the entry in row nine, column three. So row zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Column zero, one, two, three. Nine choose three is equal to 84. Or again, working our way across row nine, we have nine choose zero, nine choose one, nine choose two, and nine choose three. Nine choose three is equal to 84. Next, we have 12 choose five. We need to locate the entry in row 12, column five. Row zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Column zero, one, two, three, four, five. 12 choose five is equal to 792. And finally we have 15 choose six. We need to locate the entry in row 15, column six. So row zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Column zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. 12 choose six is equal to 5,005. I hope you found this helpful.